I'm using this under the Fair Use Act, and I wanted to address this, Robin Bullock's supposed most recent prophecy fulfillment. <clears throat> and the reason I'm doing this, I had one of his uh, die-hard followers come out and tell me uh, on the channel today that Robin Bullock's, one of his old, older prophecies, had just come to pass with this Chinese spy balloon that went over America. And, and I don't know, I'll show you what that is if you're not familiar with it. So I went to search for this and he did this video, February the 10th, 2022. This is the balloon prophecy that he says is fulfilled. And what I'm going to do is show you how gullible his followers are when he does these things. But listen to what he gives, this prophecy. Listen closely to what he says. I saw something last night. The Lord brings this back to my mind to trigger something in my thinking. Something about a hot air balloon. Something about a big one. Or maybe not so big, but big in what's coming. I don't know. I don't, but it has to do with it. We just lift up our hands and we thank God for the prophetic value that he gives us things to say a, a whisper of a hot air balloon i don't i don't know but I, it was just a whisper vision that's i know that sounds strange but that's all so he claims two different separate times that he was given a hot air balloon prophecy Make note of that, that he gives a hot air balloon prophecy. The problem with this, and what's funny is all these people are claiming this is prophecy fulfilled. That balloon was not a hot air balloon at all. So there are two types of, of ways that they create those balloons. Those balloons are created using two different gases. One gas that they use is hydrogen and hydrogen is highly flammable and even explosive so they really don't like to use those so they usually go to and use helium that is how they usually make these balloons or excuse me always make these balloons they're not made with hot air they're made with helium or hydrogen now what we can deduce and learn from the fact that they shot that balloon down with a missile, we can unequivocally determine that that was a helium balloon because the balloon did not explode into a great huge ball of fire. Because if it was, there's only two gases they use, which is hydrogen and helium. If it would have been a hydrogen balloon, it would have been a huge ball of fire. The same thing if it would have been a hot air balloon, the gases that they used to generate that hot air would have exploded. None of that happened. That unequivocally tells me that that was a helium balloon and not a hot air balloon. Let me, let me explain this to you. <laughs> For those who would try to come out and defend Robin Bullock, let me tell you how he comes up with some of these prophecies. They're there are hot air balloon races and shows all around the world all year long. All around the world all year long. And almost every single year there is a hot air balloon accident at these shows and races. For what, whatever reason, no different than there's just like a plane crash at least every year. Some plane crashes at least every year. This would, I could do this the same as him. Say there's going to be a plane crash next year. And it would come to pass. It would unequivocally and absolutely come to pass. So I could give a, a hot air balloon prophecy that there's going to be a crash, hot air balloon crash, right now if I wanted to. And guess what? It's going to be fulfilled within a year or two from now, it will absolutely come to pass. So what this shows is that he did not, this is not 
a prophecy fulfilled because he specifically named a hot air balloon and not a helium balloon. That's That Chinese balloon was a helium balloon, not hot air. There's a huge difference there. There's a major difference between a helium balloon and a hot air balloon. Y'all make note of that and be sure to let their followers know. I mean, it's it's sad, you know. It, it There's a funny aspect to it and then there's the sad aspect that they're following these false prophets so gullibly, so absolutely gullibly, they, they are deceived. They want to be deceived. They are fulfilling 2 Timothy 4, 3. They are heaping up these false teachers and false prophets to tickle their itching ears. That's all they're doing. They want to be deceived. And these ones are happy to oblige. Robin Bullock is more than happy to tickle those itching ears for them. Y'all share this with uh, their followers that this is not, not even close to a prophecy fulfillment. God bless.